Greetings and salutations everybody, welcome back to another discussion video and today we are going to be discussing something that's been around for ever for the most part in one way or another and that is of course fan service and yeah honestly this, this discussion will kind of always be in the back of my mind for a while and just kind of have become a tipping point with the release of Xenoblade Chronicle 2 as uh, some of you might have seen some trailers and well yeah the fan service is a little much here uh but my discussion i want to have is not so much along the lines of condemning fan service but more of when is fan service a good thing and when is it not needed and honestly this has been a problem, like I said, from the beginning of time in anything anime, manga, video game, really anything naughty as a whole here. So yeah, what originally got me hardcore thinking about that, like I said, it the release of Xenoblade Chronicle 2 and how a lot of the character designs is, well, whatever you want to call this. Um, well, Xenoblade Chronicle 1 didn't really ever have that for the most part. Don't get me wrong. We we had our fan server ish characters in Xenoblade Chronicle One. But I'm starting to real like well the dick connect honestly for me when it comes to fan server as a whole is of course how is it handled? Which honestly, you know, I like boobies and nets well on the net person out there, but the issue I personally have here uh, is whenever said fan service take take away or put what is happening and what is the point of the story on the back burner. Uh, which, as an example, being more so a sexy character can be there because art it art, do what you will. But having a story or a character that is actually believable and deep and you know also fitting the surrounding upset story of whatever might be happening at the moment and just to randomly go in the fan store but just because that is where my issue come in at honestly it really feel like in a lot of ways with a lot of anime characters here especially having the character you want to get invested in but it's kind of hard to get invested in them when all they are is literally nothing more than fan service or break character to do said fan service. And I honestly, I feel like with my mo my issue come with fan service as a whole here is not saying sexuality is bad by any means. It just it a wide and long way to actually handle said subject matter. Which will be the perfect example of look at pretty much Bayonetta appealed to a lot of other characters. Well, them sex appeal does not match with them character. Or on the other side is you have a character that does not match with the surrounding scenario at the moment. And honestly, realizing now that it kind of my issue with a few exception here along the way is of course would be the parody of a parody which in return a lot especially in a lot of anime we can say oh whenever the panty shop happening or boob grabbing or you know insult whatever type of fan sort if you want here you can say it you know mainly just for uh you know a lap for the most part but when we get into the parody side it like the parody can only be a parody if I feel like we want it on the same page. You know, it more to it than just, you know, a laugh or for sex appeal. Well, the perfect example of that would be something like Kill a Kill. Along that line, well, every character is pretty much on the same page at all times. For the most part, it is there because it's a part of what the universe is and... Because of that, everyone, like I said, is on the same page, which in return really, I get add more weight to what is happening at the moment. Because once again, it's all about having the continuity of what this is. 
the issue that come from that in a lot of ways, uh, or late nowadays anyway, with a lot of other stuff, is it truly do just feel like fan service for fan service fakes. And honestly, I think truly that is my issue. I am not a fan of, like I stated in the beginning, pretty much taking what is happening or a character and putting it on bat bundle for sex appeal or comedy relief. And don't get me wrong, like I said, a plate for it all, but just how it handled for the most part, or, <laughs> you know, for, I don't want to say the majority, but like I said, for a good most part of the, the audience here and the industry as a whole, it just honestly don't feel needed in a lot of way, and honestly take away from what is, or what could possibly be something more. That honestly is my opinion of fans of it, and we'll line it with Xenoblade when it's like, it is this in between a character you want to be invested in and fan solvents in like two separate things. But the issue is that when we get in the middle, when we start trying to mesh the two, it will, some issue kind of can come in and honestly make a character feel a little more empty inside, uh, especially if it's something they're not you know, known for, for the most part. With that being said, though, like I said, I feel like Bayonetta is like the perfect example of how you white a, a sexualized, serious character that know when, when to be silly, when to be sexual, when to be serious, and how to walk that line perfectly for a character that is obviously there for fan service. And how to make a character you can deal care for and get invested in. And not just invented in cleavage or panty shop for the hell of it. So overall, I believe that if my personal issue is fan but not a bad thing. It just need to be handled with more care if you're going to have it there. Uh, especially if you start leading more so into character trait over character design. Since they are two separate things as a whole. And honestly, I just feel like not very many things know how to walk that line. And especially and not anymore when of course, like always, which you know, never never have changed. Sex sales and any more so when we start getting into anime waifu materials as well. At the same time, I feel like there is more better way to handle it. Or just don't do it at all. Especially when we have examples out there of how to do it and how not to do it. But with that said, if you guys enjoy that type of deal, more power to you. I'm a firm believer in, you know, you do you alone. You're not hoarding anyone or yourself for the most part, mainly anyone else. So I'm not saying fan service is an evil thing that need to go away. I, I think, honestly, if fan service is going to be around, People need to learn and will like how to actually handle this with a little more with that, especially if you are trying to tell a story that is way more than boobs and dicks. So, yeah, overall, that is my opinion. My opinion alone. If you have an opinion, feel free to leave it in the comment below. And who knows, maybe in the next video I will pick out some of the comment to be uh, shown and talk about when we do our net discussion video here. Uh, and of course, if you haven't already, feel free to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. I do put up videos every single day right here on YouTube. I'm a call. I'm going to head on out of here. And I will catch you all in the next video when we discuss whatever. Once again, comment below and let me know what you want to talk about. So to then, have a good one, guys.